question on Bootstrap Studio about how to get images the same size. Okay, so we'll create new design and we just do that. Um, on the left, we'll look for columns. Or row, uh, there's, there's some great things now on uh, uh, Bootstrap Studio. At first, um, it was quite sparse, but they've really they've done a lot with this. So anyway, we want uh, an image in all of these empty columns. Um, so we just go to image, image is uh, import image. And I'm just going to take these ones at random um, and open them. And there they are there. So we just, just pop that one in the left hand side, empty column. And of course you're seeing a massive picture there because it's uh, 4,272 by 2,848 pixels. So the mass of these, and you wouldn't use these on a, on your website because of the, of the kilobytes, and uh, these would be a few megabytes each. These ones, so you would actually put them in an edit editor first, uh, a photo editor, and uh, skim them all down and all the rest of it. But just for demonstration purposes only, um, we have we're just going to put in styles create. IMG and you don't need to put uh, just to give us a minute there IMG with uh, IMG tag there's no um, hashtag or dot because it's an HTML element in itself so with um, we just go say 300 pixels okay and they're, they're all the same really, all the same size. So if we just like put this in a preview, okay. So pop that into the uh, Microsoft Edge and there's your, well, there's your images all the same size. You can put the width, um, you know, anything you want, of course. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, but there is a slight problem on this, and that is if you use um, this here, it slightly goes over, and you can actually see that on Microsoft Edge at the bottom, there's a slight thing there. You see the scroll bar at the bottom, it shouldn't be a scroll bar. So, what, what we can do there is well, firstly, I'll um, we can go into, um, you know, individually if you wanted to, you know, you could, you could, you could have these as, um, individual, uh, where if you wanted to change them, you would, you would, uh, just put in a style in, in, on its own element, if you know what I mean. Um, so if you had like convert to HTML, custom code, edit code. So on this particular one, um, you would just put in style equals, and you could put width, um, say 450 pixels and make that one bigger. But the question was the same size and apply that as well. So that now, as as that's changed, um, and you can see this on the on the preview. Okay, so that's now bigger than the rest, and so you can really you can really see that. But um, that's basically how you 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 change um, everything on the images by keeping them the same size. Obviously, um, it really depends on how many images you have on your website or web page. Um, because sometimes you would have to put the, the style actually within that particular image. So you can see it now here, greater at the bottom um, than it was before, because now the, the width's changed on one of these images. So that's a greater thing there. Um, so I mean, there's two, uh, the other thing that you could do with that is go to styles, and create and HTML and oh, come on HTML 
and just put overflow hidden okay and yeah okay just try that and there you go so there's no there's nothing at the bottom now there's everything is as it should be there's no scroll bar at the bottom so that's just a little trick i think i've actually mentioned this before on uh, um just tricks and things like that on on uh, css anyway i hope that's answered questions and uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening again